Scott says, please save us, Scott. Since upgrading to iOS 16 after sending an email with a reference to waiting for a response, such as get back to me when this is complete, iOS takes it upon itself to create a follow-up message for me. It then proceeds to put that back in my face when I open mail, suggesting that I send it as a follow-up to my original. Hey, look, I don't need reminders like that. I have my own systems in place to determine when to follow up. Thank you very much. It turns out that the new version of iOS Mail has an option enabled in settings, apparently by default, called follow-up suggestions. For those of you who, like Scott, uh, like me, he says, don't like to be nudged to follow up on things instead of following your own methods, turn that off. And you do it in settings, mail, scroll down a little way to messages, and it is called follow up suggestions. And uh, and yeah, I, I found it on mine, too. I had to turn it off. Uh, I looked for this in Mac OS mail on Ventura, and I could not find it. Pete, you I, said you did. I found a well. I found a little something, and first of all, kudos to Scott for not seeing. I have a wife to nag me about those things instead <laughs> of. <laughs> he wanted wow. to remain married. I guess I don't know. Yeah, uh, but yeah, no. In in Mac OS Mail, uh, under messages, under I'm sorry, under the message menu, about six down, there's ignore follow up. But I think you have to have that follow up mail highlight it and then click on ignore oh. follow up. So it, it doesn't stop it from coming back, but I think it, it turns it off at that point for that mail. Yeah. When I, I that was very confusing the first time I found yeah. a follow up mail yeah. in my inbox. Wait, yeah. that's something I sent. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Where'd that come from? 